me bring it up real quick. All right, once again, it's from Extra Zero. He said, <laughs> Yeah, you too. Go figure. Is it go? there everybody how y'all doing thank y'all for coming back as always i appreciate it i really hope you're having a wonderful day or night welcome back to my channel i am deluxe and thank you once again for coming back i i'm i'm just happy i'm just happy that people watch my stuff and they like it and you know it, it just warms my soul it really does so today i have a question and i got it from extra zero really good dude he's on a uh, podcast called figure action and they are some really good dudes go check them out uh and, and extra zero he's a wonderful friend uh, i really appreciate him uh, he always sends me questions and all that stuff so before we do that um on my last video uh for uh toy was star screen um I reached out and said, if anybody wants, you know, I always have this laptop behind me and it's always showing something, you know, fish or nature or something like that. Um, I want to promote, you know, people's YouTube channel, you know, their collection, transformer pics, whatever you want to send me, you know, just make sure it's PG. You know, I won't put anything vulgar on there. Uh, but yeah, I would like to see all that stuff and I'd like to put out a slideshow and, you know, show people stuff, you know, artwork, anything, anything that you want to send to me, send it to this address. It's hellhasbrowreviews at yahoo.com and I'll put it on a little slideshow and, uh, you know, promote y'all stuff. I really like advertising, you know, people's, you know, wonderful work and all that good stuff and their, you know, YouTube channel. All right. So let's get to the question from Mr. Extra Zero. And he asked, some people tend to focus on figures that we are hyped but for, but ended up being letdowns. Instead, I want to ask about hidden gems. Has there ever been a figure that you can remember that you were not really excited for, but ended up being one of your favorites? For me, it was probably Transmental tra uh, Tarantulas. Tarantulas, Jesus. Uh, I remember him being a peg warmer as a kid, and he didn't really look appealing in his alt mode crammed into a blister cart. But I wanted, for, I wanted all the show characters, so I saved him for about dead last, and the man did I really enjoy him. Another figure, if you want to talk MPs, is, was Trax. I know a lot of uh, people were really letting him down by uh, him and didn't think he was MP quality. I was on vacation when he came out and I watched a lot of negative reviews. I lost any and all hype I had for him. But after getting him in hand, I personally had fun with uh, the figure and enjoyed flipping him back and forth. I love the fact that he came with a display stand too. And just a little side note with the display stand. You know, the MP um, uh, Beast Wars Megatron. You are paying, I paid 212, 220, something like that for it. Some people are paying over 300 bucks. They should have threw in a stand. That, that, they threw in some little adapters and you can use it on Dinobot stand. But what if you want Dinobot to use a stand? Uh, that was a big fail, especially how much you're paying for. But that's beside the point. You know, I think, you know, stuff like that should have stands. But anyways, uh, so for me looking forward, I always, I'm always looking forward to new Transformers. I really don't care. Um, I did the Toy World Star Scream, you know, and I'm kind of eh on that. So maybe it'll surprise me and be one of my, you know, you know, ones I enjoy. Uh, some of the studio series, you know, like um, uh, most of them really, you know, I wasn't really, you know, on high hopes because they were Bayverse and I had tons of Bayverse already anyways, but they have really surprised me. And, I, and they are, like I said, I, if I could, I'll sell all my movie stuff and just keep the studio stuff. You know, it, Dropkick, you know, the little helicopter, um, I didn't really, you know, have high hopes on because most helicopter transformers are really kind of, you know, bleh and they just got a lot of stuff hanging off of them because, you know, they, just, they don't have anywhere to go because they're really skinny minis. Uh, thing. But I was impressed. I really like him. He's not one of my favorites, but, you know, he's pretty, you know, he's a really good one for that line. You know, and most of the studio series stuff I'm really, you know, happy with. And um, I didn't really expect a lot from them, but, you know, that's cool. So that's most recently I can think of, you know. But like I said, I'm always looking forward to for Transformers new stuff and all that good, great, mm -mm -mm. good Transformers. So, yeah, I want to hear from you. What have you, you know, just not really been looking forward to something? And then when you got it in hand, it was like, oh. You know, it was really, it was a wonderful figure. You know, I would like to hear your responses and everything. That's why I do this. I want to hear interaction from y'all. Uh, so, yeah, go down there and uh, hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me. It all helps my channel out. I really appreciate it. And uh, send me your pictures uh, to uh, hellhasbrowreviews at yahoo.com, and I'll put it on a slideshow. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Let's Talk About Transformers. And as always, Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.